Hi, this is Paul Wolverton at the Fayetteville Observer, and I'm at the uh, Person Street Bridge uh, in Fayetteville by the Cape Fear River. You can see it behind me. It's getting high. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see it better. Uh, basically, uh, we're uh, told it's still rising. And it's going to keep on rising until um, until tomorrow at 8 a.m. Um, when it reaches a height of 61.8 feet is the latest information that I have. It, uh, it's still open to traffic. You can see there's people up there taking a look at the, uh, at the height of the water. It's, uh, if it's not been higher than Hurricane Matthew, it's going to be higher than Hurricane Matthew uh, before all this is over. Uh, now, people were saying today, there were rumors all around Fayetteville today, uh, and also up in Harnett County, that the bridges over the Cape Fear River uh, were closing this afternoon, and that has not yet happened. Uh, what has happened, what, what, the, what the DOT tells us, we were talking with spokesman Andrew Barksdale about it, and they are closely monitoring the bridges. They come by once an hour to see how high the river is, and they won't close the bridges until uh, they're no longer able to maintain visual inspection of the structural supports of the girders, which you can see here uh, under the, the road surface. So when the water gets up to these girders here, that's when they're gonna close the bridges. Is that gonna happen? We don't know. It is, as you can see, getting pretty high. But uh, in, until that happens, they aren't gonna close the roads, they tell us. Uh, and of course, if it gets that high, we don't know yet if the roads are going to be able to reopen. They're going to have to come out and inspect them to make sure there's no serious structural damage, make sure they're safe to drive on. And let's hope they don't uh, become unsafe to drive on. I'm going to walk up onto the bridge if you want to follow with me. Oh, look at this. I just noticed these are tents. I guess homeless people live under here or were living under here. They had to abandon their tents. That, that's really sad. There's some more over here. Well, I'm going to go up to the uh, top of the bridge deck and show you how high it is from up there. Just walk along with me. There's lots of people coming out today to, to, to see it for themselves. Uh, some, some of the people said it's kind of like a parade. I was told earlier that there was even a whole lot more people out here an hour ago than there are right now. You can see there's still traffic crossing the bridge. The bridge hasn't been closed. Contrary to the rumors with, uh, we've been hearing. Hi. Again, we're on the Person Street Bridge in Fayetteville. It's not been closed. It's not gonna close until the river gets significantly higher. Well, not that much higher, really. It's gotta get, it's almost to the girders. It has to reach the girders. There's the Grove Street Bridge over there. So when the water reaches the girder underneath the road deck over there, that's when they will close the bridge. This looks higher to me than it was during Hurricane Matthew. Go we'll across the bridge. See how it looks downstream. If I can get across. Fast. I'm driving real slow to take a look. Shouldn't do that, dude. If you want to take a look, you should stop and walk up onto the bridge. There's plenty of places to park. Oh, now he's stopping in the middle of the road. That's just stupid.
holding up traffic. That's crazy. It's going to cause a crash if it's not careful. south side of the Person Street Bridge. It's about as high as it was during Hurricane Matthew. That's intense. Traff uh, street light over there. Again, they've not closed the bridges in Fayetteville or in Harnett County. They won't close the bridges until the water gets up to the girders under the bridges. And it's not quite there yet. They're checking once an hour to uh, see what the conditions are and they'll make a decision whether to close the bridges uh, once they're warranted. It's Paul Wolverton for the Fayetteville Observer. Thanks for watching.